thanks for the generous introduction. Thank you everyone for being here, coming out on a Monday night. Um, most of the poems I'm going to read tonight are from my forthcoming chapbook with Asada. And I'm going to read, I think, about 12 poems, most of them short. And what else do you need to know? <laughs> Not much. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. We are not empty, we cast spells. I make with my open palms the ghost of an iron book, the better to fold your atoms with. I hold it up to the light that is not there and wait like this forever. A lot of my titles are um, found titles, and I write my poems from the title. So, you know, I'll see, like, uh, it in a piece of spam mail or something like that. And then I'll write this really serious poem <laughs> from that. <clears throat> uh, so uh, this title is uh, taken from an instruction in a yoga class. Uh, and I don't know how many of you have taken yoga before. And you have these instructors who tell you, all sorts of really bizarre things to do with your body that actually are nothing you can actually do with your body. <laughs> it's just sort of like a metaphor for what they want you to spiritually do with your body. <laughs> Move the back of your heart towards the front of your heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great poem. <laughs> I was lying that I had no idea what to do, but I was like, I'm going to write a poem. <laughs> Move the back of your heart towards the front. We have become white-blooded people of the future. Let me show you pictures of the man I was when I was, other than the man I am right now. I have always wanted to be looked at, the way you look at me when I move the back of my heart toward the front of my heart. The parentheses of light along your eyes rim unbuttons me to the crescent shore of now, I break upon each time I land, at last, the solace of the world's worst thing. The art of loss is a lost art. Because I love a burning thing, I made my heart a field of fire. In this way, I own nothing, can lose nothing. The mooncake I fed you remains a ghost upon my tongue. Immortal wasp, tiny white flame I have never touched. The truth is, we are perfect. Hours unspent like diamonds in the invisible now, without each other still, we are perfect. I make with my mouth the hour of your arrival again and again in my indefinite sleep. A lot of these uh, poems are, the, the titles of the poems are taken from uh, the Nag Hammadi uh, scriptures, which are essentially the Dead Sea Scrolls. And the, this chapbook, along with the book, the larger book that it's a part of, um, is written over a two-year period where I had one major relationship end and another major relationship begin. And um, I decided that uh, the best way to um, document that was to listen to ambient doom metal <laughs> <laughs> while reading the Nag Hammadi scriptures and sipping chilled vodka by candlelight. <laughs> So that's my artistic process. <laughs> <laughs> the concept of our great power. Under a white sky we stand in a vast pasture of black tentacles, enduring the eon of invisible age. Kindless wonder we keep 
tucked blindly under a belt of knives, but now is here. This massacre of breath erupting from our hands collision the moment we see, instead of the sun, up from the world's edge, an exaltation of tongues crack the firmament while the creature earth hums us too, too, mute as shellfish falling backward into our bodies, fractured with love we sing. All flesh is flesh, the quivering of fins. I have trouble following that poem when I read it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like you lost, got lost. <clears throat> I was a teenage symphony to God. <laughs> I was a choir of burning stars, 200 volcanoes erupting human blood. I was 1,000 tortoises dryly writhing in a field of my mother's dark hair. I was the body of a man with the head of an ox. I was the white path between water and fire. I was covered in honey. I was the fly. I was the tornado from a butterfly's wing halfway across the world. I was the world. I was the ocean, the jellyfish, the pine tree, the needles, the fly. I was covered in honey that bit you, <laughs> holding you in its belly. I was holding you in its belly. I was you as you became the plague. I was the plague. I was the spider that swallowed the fly. Perhaps I'll die. <laughs> I am dead. My body is still dying. I am dead, but my body is still dying. I am dead. My body is still dying. I am dead, but my body is still dying. I am dead. My body is still dying. The heart will be destroyed to give place to the light which it might have contained. Nothing cannot pass through me. The mask I wear is a pyramid of fire. Fierce geometry of light a cloud and its shadow, the hesitation of a lightning bolt. Watch my face ignite with every no. Watch me become invisible as I guard the yes you left behind. Watch me poltergeist as I chrysalis your life in my long hollow boom. Think of my white hands haunting any house you built, and my broad, pale chest loving you with my ghost heart until I am no longer dead. When I got here, Carissa said, I'm so glad you're reading, because it's almost Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant every word of that. <laughs> I said, well, there's blood and ghosts in my poems, so. <laughs> I'm going to face this one. <laughs> Speaking of Halloween. Hell must exist, a great priest said so. The terrible mountain of needles, a lake of blood, souls with human faces grow four legs and fall into. All the things we've ever done have brought us to this very point. It could have been different, but not really. And besides, it isn't. How does it feel to think about anything at all? The hour you lost your virginity? Every blink of your eyes. The quiet heaving 
that is living moment to moment in every moment leading to this, wherever you are. When I have a memory, I see my destroyer. Love at third sight, the world is drowning. The world has drowned. We are drowning. We are drowned. to come to you with nothing but light. Despite the wilderness in your promise, I traverse field after field of strange heads. Mild suffering, secret, invisible wonder, I exhale my doubt and wait. If I had a finger for every time I breathed, I'd be a planet of angels. In the shadow of hope against hope, I speak to every body part that rebels to be with me. Dear your hands, which I have never held, sieve the light from my approach. Dear white thigh, growing whiter in my absence, night sky shudder against my cheek. Dear soft sigh, the mystery, I guess, as though there might contain my own heart. Dear your tongue, let me see you for the days grow short now, the jellyfish bloom, and we, dev we never don't know anything about someone. I, pay I paid him extra. <laughs> 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 Speaking of found titles, you are invisible. Go visible. <laughs> you know that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone uses the G chat I am client, and you don't want anyone to bother you, you can set your status to invisible. And it just says, You are invisible. And then there's a button that says, Go visible. <laughs> I'm a fan of being invisible. I also like going invisible. You're invisible, go visible. Inside the mouth of the flower remains the second eyelid, true darkness, alien light. Resurrecting us slender and thick-skinned from the pool of milk we drown in each morning, from the river of moth dust we float on at night, hand an invisible hand saying, go and be. Build your impossible fort full of secret magics designed to let others in. Stand up when your breath enters the room. This is the hour you learn to love without. No, this is. No, this is. No, this is. No, this is. Thank you.